the longest time, the Pacific Island nations were out of radar for the Indian foreign policy. But recently, India has shown a lot of interest in Pacific Islands. And this is perhaps the reason that this month, on 22nd of May, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to be in one of the largest Pacific Island nations, Papua New Guinea, for a day. And in fact, he's also going to hold conference with the heads of the other Pacific uh, nations. Uh, this particular visit uh, uh, is, is going to be very signif significant. And to talk on that, I'm being joined by uh, His Excellency, uh, the ambassador of Papua New Guinea to India. So thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. Sir, for the longest time, uh, uh, the, these Pacific islands were out of radar for Indian uh, foreign policy makers. But uh, from 2014, we have seen a drastic change. Perhaps for the first time, uh, India participated in a conference. Now, Prime Minister Modi is going to be uh, in your country on 22nd of May. And in fact, he's also going to have meetings with the heads of the states. And there's also a possibility of bilateral meetings with, uh, with each one of them. How do you look at this visit? And also, how do you look at words viewpoint changing? For, for for these uh, Pacific Islands? Well, you see, this is the very important location for Papua New Guinea and the Pacific. Okay. There are 14 uh, Pacific Island countries uh, in the region. And of course, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi G is visiting Papua New Guinea and the Pacific for the very first time, particularly in Papua New Guinea. And with a 10 million uh, population of Papua New Guinea and a bigger nation in the uh, Pacific, we look forward to uh, Prime Minister Modi's visit because that enhances uh, Papua New Guinea's uh, bilateral relations with uh, the great India and, of course, the Pacific countries. Uh, it is also very important because uh, when you look at the Indo-Pacific region, uh, India is very much part of this region. Mm -hmm. Hence, it is important that uh, uh, we look at India as a great uh, friend and a brother so that uh, our development aspirations can be seen in the light of India's uh, uh, look east and act east policy, which is the uh, 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 bedrock of India's policy yeah. towards the Pacific. Okay. Sir, also, uh, since you mentioned about Indo-Pacific, there is a growing concern uh, amongst, uh, uh, amongst the uh, Western countries, including India, um, including Japan, uh, regarding the growing dominance of China, in, especially in, in Indo-Pacific, South China, East China Sea, and whole of Indo-Pacific. And in fact, uh, you know, from uh, Prime Minister Kishida, you know, uh, 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 talking about his own, uh, you know, roadmap framework for free and open Indo-Pacific. Then uh, 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 U.S. President Joe Biden also talks about it. India has uh, its own support for uh, for for the, for the same purpose. Where, how do you see these this Chinese aggression in 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 whole of the region? And do you see that? Uh, that this growing interest of India, U.S., or, or maybe other countries are the result of the growing Chinese aggression in, 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 in the region? Well, let, let me put it this way. We have a uh, strong bilateral relations with uh, China. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, bilateral relations with uh, India and uh, all the other countries. We look at our bilateral uh, friends as friends to look at our development agenda. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are developing countries in the, uh, in the world. Mm. Hence, we require our friends mm. to assist us. In that respect, our bilateral relationship is very critical at this stage. Because most of us, uh, most of us uh, the countries in the Pacific, require our friends to help us in the development agenda. Mm. For instance, climate mitigation is one of them. Uh, uh, management of our ocean resources, uh, marine resources is one of them, uh, and a lot of uh, other issues that uh, uh, that uh, will enhance progress our country and uh, uh, get a higher GDP, uh, GDP growth uh, uh, for Papua New Guinea as well as other Pacific countries. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, interestingly, uh, I think uh, in fact that has been reported that President Joe Biden is also going to be in Papua New Guinea on the same day. So, uh, so uh, perhaps your country is going to have two high-profile state guests on 22nd of May. 
my question to you is that how are you people going to manage the visits and is there any possibility of joint meeting uh, between th the three nations, Papua New Guinea, India and America? Can we look at that possibility also with regards to Indo-Pacific? It is really great to see the world powers and the leaders of the world powers coming to Papua New Guinea. And in that respect, Papua New Guinea and other Pacific countries will get greater recognition mm -hmm. of our needs in the Pacific. Uh, of course, three leaders mm. converging on Papua New Guinea mm. is a great event. Uh, why not? Mm. The great leaders of this world can meet in a small, um, unrecognized, so to speak, mm. uh, country in the world. But we are a bigger uh, emerging economy mm. in the Pacific region. And we need the assistance of uh, the powers of the world, like the United States, India, and other countries to assist us in our development aspirations. There are a lot of countries, uh, uh, particularly the two countries, which have a growing concern with the rise of, uh, of Chinese dominance in Indo-Pacific. One is Taiwan and the other is Philippines. Now, America is coming up with new military bases in Philippines, uh, China, uh, and uh, with, with regards to Taiwan, we all are aware about what is happening uh, between the two countries and, and stability of South China and East China is something which, uh, uh, which, uh, which world leaders usually uh, talk about. What is your country's position uh, with regards to Philippines and Taiwan and Chinese, uh, you know, maybe aggression against them? Uh, we are friends to everyone. Hmm. Uh, whether it's in the communist world or whether in the free world, mm. uh, we're friends to all. Mm. And so we cannot uh, uh, move away from the relationships that we have established. We want to establish, uh, we want to maintain those relationships and see it uh, in the, in the uh, environment within which this world is moving. Because this world is uh, based on uh, uh, strengthening economies, and our agenda is to grow the economy mm. and to lift the standard of living for Papua New Guineans and, of course, in the Pacific as well. Mm. How excited the people of Papua New Guinea are uh, with regards to welcoming Prime Minister Modi for the first time? Very excited. We, as uh, your country with uh, uh, cultured people, with uh, tribal people, we have 800 different tribal groups, and uh, Papua New Guinea is ready to welcome uh, Modi G.